But first, Johnston police have made another arrest in a child molestation case involving a local singer. And this second suspect faced a judge this morning. Matthew Huser, an East Greenwich man, is facing child uh, second degree child molestation charges. Tonight, we're learning just how he's connected to the case involving Anthony Serbo. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live outside King County Courthouse with what court documents are revealing. Eric? Mike and Shannon, according to the court documents, both of the suspects allegedly molested the 13-year-old boy to varying degrees. The documents detail what the alleged victim says happened in just a little more than an hour's time one early November morning. And as a warning, some viewers may find this disturbing. 37-year-old Matthew Hauser in court this morning hearing a judge read his felony charges. Judge is out second degree child molestation conspiracy. Johnson police say Hauser was arrested in connection to the child molestation case against local singer 40-year-old Anthony Serbo. Serbo from Johnston was arrested in November. According to court documents obtained by Eyewitness News, Serbo met the 13-year-old boy on an online app and arranged to meet up during the early hours of November 19th. Investigators say, based on statements from the alleged victim, Serbo had sexual contact with the teenager. According to the court documents, the alleged victim told police it was consensual, but his mother wanted to file a criminal complaint. Detectives say Hauser, who is from East Greenwich, is the one who drove the 13-year-old to Serbo's Johnston home. He allegedly watched the two of them together, molested the boy too, then dropped the teen off at a Johnston donut shop a little before 4.30 in the morning. The boy's mom had noticed he was missing earlier that morning and called police, who picked him up at the donut shop. You understand that you have no contact order with that person? Hauser's bail was set at $50,000 with surety, and he was given a no contact order with the victim. And as for Serbo, he is being held without bail until his next court, pay, court date. Police say he refused to ID Hauser as the driver. Coming up new at 6, find out how police eventually connected the two. Live in Warwick, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News. New details now on the second suspect arrested in a child molestation case in Johnston that previously led to charges against a local singer. Prosecutors claim the two men preyed on a young teenage boy. New at 6, we're learning how police connected the suspects. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern joins us live in Warwick with that. Eric? Mike and Shannon, both of these men are now facing child molestation charges. One of them Hauser was arraigned here at Kent County District Court earlier today. According to court documents, he drove the 13-year-old boy to Anthony Serbo's home, the singer, and then also molested him himself. As a warning, some viewers may find this disturbing. These two men are now both charged in connection to a case of child molestation. 40-year-old singer Anthony Serbo and 37-year-old Matthew Hauser. Serbo was arrested last week on first-degree child molestation charges. According to court documents, he met the 13-year-old boy through an online app and molested him in his Johnston home during the early morning hours of November 19th. Hauser, who's from East Greenwich, was just arraigned this morning. Second degree child molestation conspiracy. Investigators say, based on what the alleged victim told them, Hauser picked the young teenager up, brought him to Serbo's home, watched the two of them together, molested the boy too, then dropped the teen off at a Johnston donut shop a little before 4.30 in the morning. Police say Serbo refused to tell them who drove the boy to his house. According to court documents, Serbo's mother called police, saying a family acquaintance had told her who drove the 13-year-old boy. She then showed them Hauser's Facebook page, and after more investigating, police determined him to be the driver. And Hauser's bail was set at $50,000 with surety, and he was issued a no-contact order with the victim, Serbo. As for him, he is being held without bail and is due back in court next week. Live in Warwick, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News.